Hello and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. Last time we met Adelaide and her camp of deserters, and she suggested that instead of taking her power regulator, which she obviously did not want to give up, we reroute power from the town of Edgewater to her camp and take Edgewater's power regulator instead. And I liked the, the camp of deserters a lot more than I liked the town of Edgewater, so I'm going to take her suggestion. And here we are at the geothermal power plant, so let's uh, go reroute the power for them. Whoa, that thing is fast. Everyone all right? That was easy. Oh, I hear more robots. We're not done. A lot easier now that I'm using a better gun, though, rather than just a starting pistol. Last time I died right away. Processing. Oh. Beginning security. No oh, that's an explosive. Not a crate. <sighs> Let's see. I don't hear any more robots yet. Let's see what's in here. And these are guards, not uh, not marauders. Spacer's Choice guard. So uh, something went terribly wrong here. Possibly with the robots. Accessing. Error. Security logs inaccessible. In keeping with Spacer's Choice Company policy, all security logs have been terminated in the event of a major emergency, catastrophic event, or security breach. <laughs> so they don't want people to know what happened. Scheduled security updates at this Spacer's Choice facility are critically overdue. Your last scheduled security update occurred on error date not found. <laughs> If you are a member of the Spacer's Choice security detail assigned to this location, please turn in your identification for immediate reprimand. Failure to do so may result in an immediate reprimand. <laughs> ah, redundancy. Why doesn't this terminal work? Where's that? There it is. The fast robot. It's a pile of ash now. Oh, I hear another one, I think. Yep, over there. Hmm. Let's loot this one first.
Oh, some canids dug a hole under the fence. Great security. Ooh, a muzzler. I might want to apply that next time I find a workbench. area now. Is it just the one? No, there's another. Alright, here's me. Get ready. Oh, jeez. Don't mess with us. It shot the explosive. Didn't hurt me that much, though. Okay. Sounds like that's it. The control room should be ahead somewhere and a touch to the right. I hope we're doing the right thing. Unexpected. This gun is so much better than that little pistol. <laughs> Probably give Parvati one of these too. Do I have another? I don't know. Maybe it's the plasma rifle. I do. Okay. Parvati just has one of those little pistols, so I believe companions don't need ammo, so that's nifty. I don't think there's any more uh, robots around, so I don't have to crouch. Um, what's that? Ammo. Let's take the stairs first. Oh, there's a door. Let's go in there first. Something went really wrong here. Ooh, she's missing her head. <sighs> Perception's terminal error. Terminal memory purged. Maintenance logs purged. Personnel files purged. Company notifications purged. Messages purged. Personal memos purge incomplete. Oh, so they missed a couple files. Two files available. Access file zero 01. Frightened engineer. A request. I had to borrow your copy of, or I think that was an update. I had to borrow your copy of the Young Spacer's Choice, or the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. Radio's been sputtering, and I needed the reference. I've returned the copy to the repair bay. So I think that was an update to the Find the Three repair manual books for that kid who has a crush on Parvati in the deserters camp. So it should be here somewhere. Access file zero 02. Chaos everywhere. Mechanicals gone haywire. So that's what happened. 
Gunfire, hearing some screams. Oh, uh, I think that was someone's leg. Would like to leave early for the day. Please deduct delinquency fee from my pay. <laughs> Thank you. Proud to be a member of Spacer's Choice family. <laughs> So it was chaotic enough that they didn't use any capitals or punctuation, punct, uh, punctuation, jeez, couldn't remember that word for a minute, uh, but they still were, uh, programmed enough to, um, for these last two lines, requesting to leave early and saying to deduct from their pay and of course, thank you, proud to be a member of Spacer's Choice family. They have to say that every chance they get it is required. It's part of their job description. Ridiculous. What? What is... what? Huh? Is this the same? That's weird. Let's try this first. Wish I could do that. Okay. Yeah, it was just... Two spots for the same lockpick. Ammo. <laughs> Manager's office, terminal access. Welcome, Jay Braden. Messages. This terminal didn't get purged, that's interesting. From Spacer's Choice. Emerald Vale Geothermal Power Plant, a Spacer's, Cho a Spacer's Choice property. From Spacer's Choice Emerald Vale Department of uh, Emerald Vale Development and Oversight. To J. Braden. Subject, get it together. <coughs> Miss Braden. This letter serves as an informal notification of our company's displeasure toward your management of the Emerald Vale Geothermal Power Plant for reasons related to exceeding your staff budget in your latest quarterly report. Please select five subordinates to be dismissed immediately. Additionally, please contact our office to schedule your official reprimand at your earliest convenience. Failure to schedule your official reprimand will result in an official reprimand, of course. <laughs> the Spacer's Choice family would like to collectively remind you that working for Spacer's Choice is not a right, but a privilege. What a privilege. Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant. From Jay Braden. Subject, no need for reprimand. To the esteemed members of the Emerald Vale Development and Oversight Committee. I hope this letter I hope this letter finds you wealthy. After due consideration of your last letter, I have identified and terminated no fewer than five subordinates who were unable to provide sufficient justification for their ongoing employment. I would like to remind the oversight committee that while most of Emerald Vale has failed to meet its production and output quotas, particularly our agriculture and fishing slash canning departments, neither of which are anywhere close to profitable. The Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant remains committed to providing cheap, cost-efficient power to the entire region. Regards, Juno Braden, Manager. From Spacer's Choice again. Subject, re, no need for reprimand. Miss Braden, we have investigated the claims made against the profit profitability of the greater Emerald Vale region. Our offices agree with you. Agriculture and fishing slash canning have been experienced have experienced a steady decline while the Emerald Vale geothermal plant remains somewhat profitable. Our offices are currently investigating ways to implement additional cost saving measures, which will ultimately lead to a leaner, more streamlined, more efficient geothermal plant. Please be informed that Spacer's Choice Development and Oversight Office has taken a, a significant insurance policy against the Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant. Oh, jeez, so they were planning this? 
The office would like to assure you that the insurance policy is a standard procedure. Do not attempt to interpret, understand, or otherwise extrapolate meaning from this de decision. As a special courtesy, we have deployed a proprietary team of engineer of engineering specialists to the Emerald Vale geothermal plant. This team of specialists has been instructed to refit and upgrade the plant's population of auto mechanicals free of charge. Thank you for your cooperation. So it sounds like Spacer's Choice took out an, took out an insurance policy and then purposefully sabotaged the robots to kill everyone. And that's how they got their profit. Beautiful. Lovely. Wonderful human beings. Okay. So there's a downstairs and there's a door over there and that's where our quest takes us. So we'll start over here. What's this? Some bits. Anything on this side? Yeah, dead guy. Bits, ammo, bypass shunt. Master control terminal. Redirect power. Warning, safety failures detected. High likelihood of moderate to severe structural damage. Warning, redirecting power is an irreversible procedure. Process in error. Power redirection function has failed. Manual override required. Please activate all three electrical track switches. Okay, so we're going to have to fix the power plant before we can use it. Plant status. That's control terminal. Plant status. This access report brought to you by Spacer's Choice. Emerald Vale geothermal plant operating at 22% efficient efficiency. Power is currently being distributed to Edgewater Saltuna Cannery Botanical Laboratory. Warning, structural damage detected. Please notify your designated supervisor. Okay. So let's fix up the plants down there. Three switches. That'll be easy enough. Blood. Yeah, nope. Can't even lockpick. Need the... Or can we? Oh, that's not enough lockpick skill, I guess. Uh, um, so we'll need the... What is it? Geothermal Security Chief's key card. Nicely done. Geothermal security office. Unlock door. Do I have a passcode? Ah, yeah, I got it from Mayor. Hobson. Personal files. 
Personal logs. S. Tanaka, Chief of Security. Access personal log 079. Geothermal Security Office, personal logs. Tanaka, Chief of Security. Chester Higgins again. That whole head. Found him fiddling around with one of the mechanicals, so I had to write him up for tampering with company property. Just in case I'm reading this a couple days from now and feeling bad for what I've done, let me remind myself that I've warned him before. He's always been a little crooked in the skull. He was working on some logic module. I confiscated it. Should be in my lock lockaway room for the foreseeable future. So that locked door behind us probably. There's something interesting in there. Person log 087. Doesn't sit right with me. Company's been replacing our guards with auto mechanicals. At this rate, I'm going to end up chief of security with no staff. Just a small army of mechanicals knocking about. Guns pointed every which way. Company tells us they're safe. Programmed to treat us humans like their own. People are liable to break down, but an auto, mecha but an auto mechanical never will. I don't know, it doesn't sit right with me, but the company's never been wrong before, I suppose. Really. Must have not been paying attention to the company then. Personal log 098. Geothermal security office. Uh, worst has happened. Mechanical's gone crazy. Locked myself down here. Just trying to gather my courage gonna make a mad dash for the control room might be able to shut things down we'll delete this entry if I ever return automated message 006 greetings security chief S. Tanaka this is an automated message initiated by spacer choice worker safety contingency protocols a security lockdown has been initiated this is not a test your behavior during this lockdown will be reviewed during your quarterly audit. Anxiety is a common side effect of life-threatening situations engendered by security lockdowns. Fight back against anxiety with an ice-cold bottle of zero-g brew. Zero-g brew. An ale that's good for what ails you. <laughs> Alright, so that door opened. Lockers. Okay. I hear a robot. Oh, there it is. Oh, it just got away. Shoot through there. Oh no, there's another.
pretty. This one's docked. Oh, it's Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy. Self-diagnostics complete. Navigation systems operational. Combat systems operational. It's not the best choice. It's the spacer's choice. <laughs> Even Jeremy is literally programmed to say that. This is odd. Why aren't you attacking me? Hostile actions towards spacer's choice mechanics are contrary to logical directive. Conclusion, all hostile auto-mechanicals must be defective in compliance with spacer's choice policy. All defective auto-mechanicals must be permanently dismantled. Please allow me to assist. Nice, so because we fixed him up, he's going to help us out. Let me get this straight. You want to help me destroy other mechanicals. Affirmative. Mechanicide protocols loaded. <laughs> Awaiting confirmation. Confirmation granted. I like the sound of that. Go for it. Oh, you're slow, though. Hastily written note. Borrowed a copy of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. I think it's volume three. Oh, that's the one that was missing. That uh, you didn't know where it was. I need something to read down in the pit. Much obliged, C. Higgins. Repair bay, terminal access. Access repair log 0012. Corporate just sent a team of technicians to conduct a complete refit of our mechanicals. Every sentry and drone. It's not my place to say so, but this, doesn't this run contrary to the Spacer's Choice mission of being as cheap as possible? Just in case I'm audited, I would like to formally express how grateful I am to be part of the Spacer's Choice family. Spacer's Choice is a leading brand in affordable sundry across Halcyon. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. C. Higgins. Repair log 0020. Just finished a routine maintenance on our mechanical sentries. I found some strange modifications to their logic modules. I haven't had time to run a diagnostic, so I don't know what's been modified. All I know is that the modifications were introduced in our recent refit. Company went through the trouble of refitting every single mechanical in the plant not long ago. Guess this was the work of those visiting technicians. I filed a report, but my supervisor told me not to worry about it. Said the company knew what it was doing. Ordered me to forget about any alleged modifications to the logic modules. Decided to do a bit of sleuthing by my own self. Got my hands on a logic module. Have to do a little experimentation. Okay. So I think you went that way. What's this door over here? Oh, there's one of the switches. Two more. What'll happen to Miss McDevitt's folk? If we send power to the veil? Oh, we're not doing that. Don't worry about it. They'll be fine. Not a peep for me. Right, control armor. What is this? Oh. Stealth skills though. Hmm. Nah, that's okay. What's this? Get out of here. Okay. More riot control armor. Oh, but it's better.
Oh. I'll use this to get into that room. Chester's passcode. I need to find Chester's passcode. There's a switch in here. Not real. You're not real. Higgins. You're not real! You're not real! Get away from me, Phantom! Shoot! Scram! Calm down, I'm not trying to hurt you. You can talk? <laughs> the Phantom's never talked before. I knew I shouldn't have eaten that Sprat raw. You. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your Sprats before ingesting. You're not imagining me. Of course. Do excuse me. I experienced brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the phantoms of my imagination. <laughs> Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. <laughs> I use it as a reminder. Okay. How long have you been down here? Hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. <laughs> My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. Uh-huh. And what exactly do you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aether Wave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Sure you have. What happened to this place? Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. We already know how this happened, so let's go with... And you weren't killed? I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. You've been down here this whole time? How did you not starve? Jimmy'd opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. So you ate sprats? Braised. Boiled. Charred. Skewered. Sprats are good eating, friend. Chock full of brain food. You said you were an engineer. What did you work on? I specialized in auto mechanicals. Drones, sentries, repaired them, maintained, upgraded, did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. If you worked on these mechanicals, you must know a way to stop them. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us with prodding irons. I can deal with mechanicals. I made it this far, didn't I? You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. <laughs> I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Hmm. But then Jeremy...
Mechanicals follow the behavior of their logic modules. Someone tampered with it. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode oh, to passcode. access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. I'll just excuse myself. So I think Higgins was the one who said he brought the book down here. Aha! Uh -huh. Guide to Mechanical Engineering Volume 3. There we go. Um, I'll take your bits. You don't need bits down here, but you can keep everything else. That terminal that needed a passcode. I wonder if we can just tell them to stop shooting because I don't want to hurt poor Jeremy. Auto mechanical behavior mode, guard modes. Maybe we can just change that. Guard mode targets intruders. Select new mode. Oh. Auto mechanicals in this facility have been mandated to remain in guard mode. Any attempt to alter the setting is punishable by company law. Your infraction has been noted in your permanent record. See Higgins. Oh no, we got him an infraction. Uh, please see your supervisor. To schedule a reprimand. New target. What? Oh, define intruders. Wait, why can we change this? But oh, okay. No, I'll just let Jeremy take care of them because I think as long as we leave as long as we leave intruders as it is, they won't shoot Jeremy. And if there's any he doesn't pick off, that'll just be experience for me. Okay. Um what's out here. Before we go this way. Well no, we'll go that locked door on the way. Um, it is this way. Ah, this is where Jeremy came from. Okay. We were there already. Oh, Bard. No. down one level. There it is. Okay, go quiet. What's this? Oh fuck. Hey, that's impressive. Is this a weapons workbench? It is. Modifications. To install your mod, first select the item you wish to upgrade, then choose what type of mod you want to install. Finally, pick the mod to install, and boom, you upgraded your item. Both weapons and armor can be modified. Mods can't be removed once they're used, so put them on your favorite gear. Some company slogan. Okay. Um, oh, my weight's getting heavy. Let's break some things down. 
Use this. This. This, that, that might be useful, but uh, we'll see. Oh, it weighs five. Okay, I need to break it down eventually. Um, I don't think I need any of this. How about armor? Not that. I want to keep that for sentimental reasons. Um, is that better than my helmet? I think that is my helmet. Uh, definitely don't need that. Melee weapon skills. Huh. I'll keep this and break that down. Okay. Uh, anything need repair? Wait, what armor? Probably fine. Modify. Um, these are equipped. Let's modify this one. Oh, I can't put the silencer on. Oh, that's nice. Put a better scope on it. One fifty. How did you get that high? Crazy. Fifty percent increased mag size. That's probably nice. Why not? Okay. Nice. Unseen, you're liable to get scalded. Oh, one of the switches. If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? What happens is what they deserve. Don't even think about it. Oh. Shut off steam release valves. All right. Not that I needed to do that, but might as well. Got some experience for it. Uh, that's where we came from, so there was another way to go up here. Ah. Oh, I hit it. Took some damage. We made oh, and plenty of uh, Adreno or whatever it's called, so it's no big deal. Thirty three left. that barred door. Oh, another barred door. Nothing over here.
Oh, the other switch. Blast. Great. I'm not sure what the ride is. All I know is the decision's final. This bar door goes to the exit. And this one is over there, and we don't need to go back. Oh, there's some ammo that I missed. Nice. Okay. Did I get this? I did not. Cool. Okay, so we got the key card. Nice, some loot. Got some cards, Satrina time. Corrupted logic module. What do I do with it? item. So I guess it's a wait list. Engineer's note upgraded the old lot the old models with the kill on site contingency install with care. Okay so I guess that's just a bit of lore. Wait, there's more journal entries? No, no, mods. Okay. Okay. Um, so before we make that final decision, because I think uh, Edgewater's going to be pretty upset and uh, not want me going around their town, um, we had some side quests. So let's see. Make sure to finish those first. All oh, right. The guy who has the auto mechanical conspiracy theories. We finished his quest. Need to find the other two volumes, but that could wait since uh, it's not in the town of Edgewater. Two kindred spirits. Oh, I was just supposed to talk to her. Okay. This full of digits, I need to find the fingers. Uh, companion quest. Retrieve the journal. Let's uh, start that one. Next. over here it's close by nice all right and we will continue with the companion quest next time thank you for watching